it quickly became apparent that the XG model that I use that I put together is much better. It's 33, 13, and 7 since June 14th, uh, 48.63 units. It's hitting at almost a 72% uh, rate, 71.7. Why would I veer away from it if it's working so well? And, and that's and this is the game I want to talk about. I want to talk about this game goes Saturday at, uh, I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern time in Vancouver. Club Tijuana and Vancouver. You look at this one. This is the last game of the group stages. LAFC is, is in this group as well, too. They've already booked um, their spot into the knockout stages. When they came back from a 2-0 deficit uh, late at home and tied Vancouver, went to penalty kicks, um, lost the game in penalty kicks, but pick up a point. So now they're on uh, four points and they're into the next round. Club Tijuana are in a position here where they played a very good game against L.A., but the numbers don't show it. Uh, they had 63% possession, or I think 66% possession. Um, a lot of attempts on goal, a lot of shots on goal, but only 0.9 XG created. L.A. created 4.9 XG. There was 5.8 in that game, and it finished 3-0. Uh, this is one where now they're playing a Vancouver team. They have to win in 90 minutes. The way that the, the League's Cup is set up, after 90 minutes, if the game is tied, it goes to penalty kicks. The team that wins penalties gets two points. The team that loses gets one. If you win it, uh, obviously, in regulation time, you get three points. They've got to win to leapfrog Vancouver, who are on two points uh, at the moment in this final game. Opening up against this Vancouver team is never a good thing. This is a team that nine of their 10 MLS games at home, last nine, nine of the last 10 games at home, they've been scoring goals uh, every game of those nine have had at least three goals scored in them. And it's a team that went into LA and probably should have won the game. Uh, they had numerous chances to score. They've got a guy playing um, for them that should be on the U.S. men's national team, Brian White. The guy has 12 goals this season, 16 last year, and then uh, two years, three years back, he had 12 goals for this team. And he's not starting for the U.S. team or not even on the bench. This uh, They need players that can score, and this is a guy who can score. The flow of this game just tells you that it's going to be an open game because Tijuana is not going to sit back. And uh, that's usually a bad thing when it comes to um, playing against a team like Vancouver in Vancouver. You look at one last uh, thing, you look at uh, Tijuana. They're the new Mexican season. The Apertura started about a month and a half ago. They played four games in there. Uh, three of the four games, they scored goals, seven to be exact. The one game in which they didn't score, and then they, they also didn't score against LAFC, were against the two teams that I gave you guys futures on last week, LAFC, because um, they're a good ball possession team normally, and a Cruz Azul, who I think at 12 to 1 to win this uh, tournament, uh, even though uh, they didn't get the win last time out, uh, they'll, they'll make it into the knockout stages, I'm pretty sure. Um, playing against those teams is always tough. So uh, I think three is very attainable in this game. I'm pretty sure we're going to see at least four goals in this game.